I will. We're gonna take a picture really quick, okay? Ready? Bye. Three, two, one. Perfect. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you, Paige. How are you? I'm good. Good to meet you. Excellent. Um, I have some questions here. Um, okay. I'm going to ask, um, Jerry Orbach voiced uh, Lumia in Beauty and the Beast. Yes. Did you ever get to meet him? Oh, of course. I got to meet him many times and, and, and work with him a couple times. And um, I was already a fan of his as a Broadway star. I'd seen him in 42nd Street, among other, other shows. So it was very special to meet Jerry. He was a very funny man and very creative man. Was he a nice man? Very nice man. And very funny. Excellent. Yeah. Um, Emma Watson played Belle in the live action Beauty and the Beast. Yes. Um, how do you think she did? I thought she did a great job. I um, I was really excited to be there at the premiere and she invited me to come and take pictures with her and the cast, which was very sweet of her and I really enjoyed that. And um, we had a really good time meeting and I, I throughout the time she was uh, doing the film, I was sending messages through Don Hahn to give her advice on the singing and to ha have a good time. And I thought she did a wonderful job. She made it her own. Excellent. Um, apart from Emma Watson, who else were you impressed with in the cast? In the in the live action? Yeah. Oh, all of them. Dan Stevens was amazing. Uh, <laughs> uh, Luke mm -hmm. Evans was great. Um, Kevin Klein surprised me. I didn't, I, when they said he was cast, I didn't picture him as Maurice, but I ended up loving his Maurice. And of course, uh, Emma was amazing, other Emma. <laughs> but uh, no, it was great. Before Emma played Belle, did you watch Harry Potter at all? Oh, of course. I loved her. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It must have felt special in a way, you know. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, she, she, would, she had said that, you know, I'll always be that character and you'll always be Belle in my heart, you know, and it's just really sweet. She's a very kind person. Oh, that's good. That's good. She's a very kind person. That's brilliant. Are you doing anything at the moment? Just painting right now. I'm working on the painting for the 30th DVD anniversary of Beauty and the Beast. Okay. Uh, so I'm almost finished with it. Almost there. Um, so. Howard Edman, unfortunately, died before the movie was premiered. Um, what was it like working with Howard Ashman? Oh my gosh, he was he was one of the most charismatic human beings on the face of the earth that I've ever met. And he was he had this beautiful, incredible vision of the film and what it should be. And once we all kind of went along for the ride for what he wanted, it all came together. And the movie ended up being what Howard envisioned. It's great. Thank you for making the time for this page. It's Thank you um, so you know, much. Pleasure. And you have a beautiful speaking voice, by the way. Oh, thank you, Paige. That's very <laughs> fascinating. <laughs> I love it. It's gorgeous. You could do voice up. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, who knows? Good luck to you. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye.